you, you and staff were just attached at the hip for so many years. How strange is it going to be seeing him on the other side? Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> uh, I've been looking forward to this game for a while just to be able to see him, be around him a little bit. Uh, hopefully get a little jersey swap. I uh, got to get his, his uh, jersey hung up. But um, again, it would be good to see him. We had such a great relationship. Still text back and forth, and uh, I think we've both been looking forward to this one. Are you talking trash during this game or no communication? Uh, to Diggs? Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, there'll be no, there'll be no trash talking. Uh, there'll be some fr friendly banter, but that's about it. What's the hardest thing about playing in Buffalo? The crowd noise, and I think the elements kind of come into play. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, the crowd noise. Um, I, I, I was telling someone the other day, uh, just talking about the environment. It's one of my favorite environments because they're such a passionate fan base. Um, it's no no fancy bells and whistles. It's just um, it's just people that love the sport. Um, they love their team, and it, it's going to be a packed house. Even when they, you know, obviously they're really good. Um, but before that that I played them, they weren't as great of a team, and they still were packed out and and a great environment. So uh, looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be difficult, but uh, it'll be great. What stands out just about their defense and what they do best? Yeah, I mean, I think they can do it at all levels. Um, they have guys up front that can get after the quarterback, are physical, um, have a lot of experience, and then you, you go to that next level, linebacker level, they got some guys that are really good football players and not just one. Um, and then the back end, um, you know, even even they've had to fill in some with some injuries, and even those guys are really good football players. Um, the guys that were before them were all pro football players, and then the guys filling in are, are it almost feels like they haven't missed a beat. So. Um, great challenge for us. Um, we always talk about we want to play the best, um, and we feel like this is a defense that's one of the best. Case Keenum, what does he do to stay ready? How does he stay prepared? Yeah, I mean, he's always a dangerous guy to be a, in the backup role because he is one of the most prepared people. Um, I spent a lot of time with him and just seeing the way that he prepares, um, the, way that, the way that he stays positive through everything. Um, and just um, encourage it. I know guys on that team love that guy because uh, that's the type of person he is. So, um, you know, I, I know that he's prepared to, to play if he needs to and that he'll play at a high level uh, if he needs to get out there. Hey, Adam, from a production standpoint, how smooth was the transition from Diggs moving on to Buffalo and you guys getting J JJ? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's tough because you hate losing a guy like Diggs, especially with our relationship, um, you know, the way he treated me, the, person, the player he was on the field. Um, and, then, and then you add, um, he leaves and Justin comes in and it was almost very similar relationship, um, very you know, similar player, um, got a ton of potential obviously and, and has proved that day in and day out. So um, it was kind of an interesting transition. Um, but uh, thankful that I've played with both those guys and, and have a ton of respect and love for both of them. We talk about a lot with Monday night games, primetime games. This is the kind of game you almost have to guard against getting too hyped up before. I mean, with everything that's this week's, you know, there's buzz in here right now, we can sense it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know if you can get too hyped up, though. I mean, I think you just, you just got to bring that, that energy and mentality every week. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's a noon game and nobody's watching, right? You, you ha in this league, you have to have that mentality, that, that juice, that, uh, that excitement, um, because otherwise it's, it's tough to win. And every team is, especially when you start playing well and you start stacking wins, you know, that target gets bigger and bigger on your back. So um, just making sure that we're mentally, physically, emotionally prepared for going to be a, a, a long, tough football game that's not going to be uh, handed to us, that's for sure. So um, just got to take that mentality in our preparation. Do you like noon games better, for, just like being able to get up and kind of get started right away? Yeah, so it's kind of a it's kind of an interesting deal, right? Because, yes, I mean, it's great to be able to play at noon. You get up, you just go out there and you play, and then you get home at a decent time. You know, you're not landing at 4 in the morning, things like that. Um, but in the other end of it, um, I just feel like there's nothing better than playing a night game, you know, prime time, all the eyes watching you, you can show what, what kind of football team you are. Uh, so it's kind of a, a give and take relationship, I guess. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we, we definitely enjoy our noon games when we can get in and get out and, and get home at a decent time. Alrighty, thanks guys. Appreciate it.